Spurs. They retired Manu Ginobili's jersey last night. Tim Duncan, Tony Parker were on hand to honor their former teammate who helped them win four titles. Manu spent all 16 years of his career in San Antonio, and he's in the top five in franchise history in points, rebounds, and assists, and assists, and is first in steals. Skip, mm. where does Ginobili rank all time? He is easily all time top 30. And in winning impact, I can make a very strong case he's all time top 10 hmm. because there's never been anything in the NBA quite like Manu Ginobili. And I want to take this moment to say what people were tweeting with the hashtag last night Gracias Manu. Mm -hmm. I stayed up, so did Ernestine because she became a big Manu fan because of me, to watch the entire retirement ceremony. It didn't end until an hour and a half after the game, and I'd never seen anything quite like it because usually those take place pregame or at halftime, and right. they last for what, 10 minutes? Yeah. 10 minutes. Because that's all you got. Right. And maybe that's all it deserved except for this guy. I liked it. It went on and on and on, and I must admit, I, I got tears in my eyes because every spur of magnitude and note showed up. Duncan showed up, and he doesn't come out in public very much. Tony Parker was there. David Robinson's always there. But With that Frederick Douglass haircut, going. he shouldn't come out. Mm. You can make that case, but he did because <laughs> he knows how much this guy yeah. meant. And the reason I stayed up is because I felt like I owed it to a guy who gave me so much joy watching him because every night I watched this guy, he did something I'd never seen before. And again... With Tim Duncan there and Tony Parker there, Greg Popovich made a statement right in front of them. They were five feet from him. And if we could hear what Greg Popovich concluded his remarks with, this was powerful. The way the team was set up, we all needed each other. And without Manu, there were no championships. There were no championships. He said that right in Tim Duncan's face. And Tim Duncan is known as obviously the greatest spur. Known as, he yeah. is. But the driving force was Manu Ginobili. And Pop also made another strong statement that he's made before. But he said, even though Manu wasn't quite as, he used the word quite, quite as talented as Michael Jordan or Kobe Bryant, in in winning drive, in intangibles, in competitive will, he said he was right there with Jordan and Kobe and Magic and Bird. And Greg Popovich doesn't make those statements loosely, recklessly. He meant it. And all I know is that of the 132 players in the history of the NBA who have played at least 1,000 games, Ginobili has the highest winning percentage of 72%. Name them all, all the greats. The guy who won the highest percentage of games over his whole span of his career, Manu, was 72%. He won a EuroLeague title before he even came to the States. He led Argentina to a gold medal That's in 2004. Well, you can make a case because that Argentine team beat our team 89 to 81. And our team had LeBron James and Allen Iverson and Dwayne Wade and Carmelo and Amari. And that guy, Tim Duncan, was on our time, our side that day. And when the, the two teams played again in 08, Dwayne Wade was on that team and he, uh, they had some uh, video from him last night and he said he got a scouting report on Argentina. And he looked down on Ginobili's scouting report and it said that Manu Ginobili was the second best two guard in the National Basketball Association. This is an Olympic scouting report. And Dwayne said, I was hot. Hmm. And then he said, I sat back and I thought, yeah, to, to Kobe, obviously. Sure. He, he said, yeah, he's right. That, that's right. And, and I got to push myself to show him that I'm better than he is. And Dwayne said that, that Manu pushed him as hard as anybody wow. ever pushed him. And Popovich then made the point that the key to the championship run with Ginobili, they'd won one before him in that strike short in the year in 99 with David Robinson and Tim mm -hmm. Duncan. Mm -hmm. But the key was that Manu Ginobili had the humility 
to finally grudgingly agree with Popovich, you come off the bench. Because if you come off the bench, we will devastate people in the middle of the first quarter when they're starting to get tired with you coming fresh. Right. And he said it was the essence of how they won four championships is that he did that. And now coming off the bench, quote unquote, He's going to be a slam dunk. I don't even know if they have first ballots, but but you know he he is a yeah, shoe in Hall of yeah, Fame. Yeah, because they they start they can start counting towards the Hall of Fame when you start mm. dribbling the basketball. Mm. It's just not the NBA. Okay. You know that skip is international play. So who brought the Euro step to America? That guy did. Manu Ginobili. That hammer pass that LeBron takes credit for. Ginobili invented it. It's the one where you throw it from corner to corner all the way up the baseline. Ginobili brought it here because as Tim Duncan concluded his remarks, genius. He just turned to him and he said, genius. He was basketball genius. No one has ever played harder on a nightly basis, a dribble to dribble basis than Manu Ginobili. Nobody's played with more creative flair and fire than Manu Ginobili. And again, I just want to take this opportunity to thank him for the nights that, that he gave me where I just sat back and said, man, I've never seen that before. Mm. No. Thank you, Shane. I have. Yeah. And not only is he not yeah. top 30, mm. he's not top 50. Yeah. He's not a top five two guard currently. Mm. Jordan, Kobe, D. Wade, James Harden, and Jerry West all going to go down better than Manu Ginobili. Mm. And if I was Tim Duncan, when Greg Popovich said, without Manu, this wouldn't happen, I would have stood up and said, did you remember 99? Because <laughs> it happened. And guess who was the finals MVP? That would be me. Mm. That would be me, Pop, but I mean, you know what? This is Manu's time. I'm not going to show out because I'm mm. here. You know, I don't normally come out and let y'all see me. I, you see my duds. I got my jeans on. But, Skip, you need to stop this. I get it. He, he was a great cog, but this is all about Pop. This is all about Tim Duncan. Mm. He's, not, he's not even the second greatest player mm. on that team. I mean, the second greatest player in the Spurs organization. That would be one, Admiral David Robinson. Mm. And... Is he better than Tony Parker? I, okay, you you want to say he's better than Tony? Tony did win a Finals MVP. Mm. Are we gonna count that? That means something, right? What about old, old you know the guy? You, this many he wore this number jersey. Mm. Two time Defensive Player of the Year, Finals MVP, twice All NBA player. Quit, so, quit on the spot. No, 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 skip. This is not your turn. See, I told you. Can I get some water now? I let you drink from the fountain. I didn't interrupt you. I didn't shove you out the way. So can I have my drink at the water fountain? Yeah, but I'm going to have one more drink. Oh, okay, after good. You. you can have that. Yep. So if I just do that right mm -hmm. there, he's what, fifth? Now, mm -hmm. I ain't even bring up Iceman. Mm -hmm. I ain't bring up George Gervin. Loved him. Oh, I, Loved so him. I ain't going to bring him up. He made me a Spurs fan. We need to stop this. I'm not kidding. He, had a, he, he won championship. But when I look at historically great players, they transcend... Uh, systems. Mm. I look at Tim Duncan. Tim Duncan could have gone anywhere. He didn't need Pop to be Timmy Duncan. It definitely helps because it gave him structure. He was there for such a long time, and he let Timmy be Timmy. Mm -hmm. and, Timmy and Tim Duncan might be the most unselfish because he was willing to be coached, and he was willing to be coached hard. Mm -hmm. I'm not so sure these superstars of today's time, Skip, can take that kind of coaching. Especially as a rookie, I, I know they're not Same. trying to take it now. Mm. But he got Tim. He got Tim Young, and Tim was willing to like, okay, mm. I'll take that. Mm. But this this infatuation, Skip, he was skilled. He was very unorthodox. He would, I give you this. He was willing to take big shots, and he could make big shots in big moments. He was as good as we had for a time in the league. But you need to stop this. This. This fascination, this fantasizing about making Manu Ginobili better than what he was. He's a very good player on a great team in a great organization. But you need to stop this. Mm. We're a top 30 player because I could just, if you just, you know, I could just, just rattle off 30 guys on top of my head. You're like, nope, he ain't better than Bird, Magic, mm -hmm. Kareem, Will, Russell, yada, yada, KD, LeBron. Yada. I can do all that, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna let you have your moment. But I'm just, mm. I'm just gonna do this for you, Skip. He's not top 50, mm. but it was a great moment. I saw a little bit of it, but that was all I needed to see of that. Mm -hmm. Not going to take anything away from his mm -hmm. moment. He was an unbelievable player. Mm -hmm. But you need to stop this fascination mm -hmm. talking about he's a top 30 because he's not top 50. Mm. I got to tell you, everything you just said were the most naive things that ever came out of your mouth.
They're disrespectful to the point of being reprehensible because you have no idea what you're talking about on this one mm -hmm. because you've admitted on this show that they're like broccoli to you. You never watch the Spurs. I just said Tim Duncan is mm -hmm. the greatest power forward to yeah. ever live. He's a top. He, he, he can easily, if you, if you do it, he might be a top 10 player. That has nothing mm -hmm. to do with it. But it's your fascination to talk about he's a top 30 player? It's, it's not my fascination. It's everybody's no, it's fascination. Not. You, you should have watched it last night. They had a video montage of players around the league, starting with Dwayne Wade. Everybody talked about him. Magic Johnson talks about him. Everybody talks can about you, him. Can you because imagine? they'd never what? seen anything quite like Skip. him. He changed the way what? the game was played. If you don't mind me asking, Skip, when someone gives you a tribute, can you imagine someone being in the tribute saying something bad about a person? No, but you can imagine that they, they stop short of saying there be, there'd be no championships without you. Whew. If I'm Tim Duncan, I'm like, I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure they say that. They say there'd be no championships without Gronk, mm -hmm. even though they won a championship against the Atlanta Falcons without Gronk. They say there'd be no championships without Shannon Sharp. Shannon Sharp got hurt in Super Bowl 33, and mm -hmm. it did just fine. I know how this works. You heat praise. It's your moment. No, it's not my it's moment. It's your moment. It's his moment. It, uh, that, and he had so many moments. You have no idea. I have there was all one the night ideas. They were playing in Oklahoma City in game six in 2014. This took down your, your LeBron heat again. I get all this. It was 2014. It's game six at Oklahoma City. They're not as good as Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook. And at the end of regulation, they look cooked to me. And all of a sudden, he steps back at the top of the circle and just rips a three to tie it and send it to overtime. And Kevin and Russ came apart in overtime. And the Spurs took over, and you know the rest of the story. Was they went on to beat LeBron by a record finals yes, margin. Yeah. Oh, no, no. See, you see what he did there? Hmm. The Spurs went beat LeBron. Not the Spurs beat, beat, beat the Heat, but the hmm. Spurs beat LeBron. But that's neither here nor there. Well, but let me ask the you best this. player on the Heat? But let me ask you a question. Was he ever the best player on the team? Yes. When? He was the most valuable player. No, no, no. When? Every time. When? Hey, every year. Every he was year. better than Duncan. As soon as he walked in the door. He yes, was better he was. than Duncan. Yes. Stop it. Skip, stop. No, man, stop playing. He no, he was. was not ever better you, than you Duncan. Do, you, you don't get it. I get Tim, it. Tim wasn't the leader of the team. This guy was. I didn't say leader. I said best player. A lot of times the best player is not the leader and that's okay mm -hmm. so it transitioned from best player on that team from tim duncan automatically to Kawhi. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. you, you don't win without this this spirit the shot making the clutchness Skip. it's just Skip. like the guy who puts you over the top is that i guy. give you a prime example mm -hmm. the lakers don't win titles without robert ory the Rockets don't win titles without Robert Ory. The Spurs don't win titles without Robert Ory. Mm -hmm. Robert Ory was not the best player on the team. No. Just because you can't win without him doesn't make you the best. Mm. Nope, you don't I'm get I'm giving it. him credit, Skip. He's no. a good player. But he's not all-time trans historically great. Yes, he was. Yes, no, all he's not. Transcendent. No, he's not. Stop you, it. You just admit it. He, he took Argentina to the gold medal? Go back and look at the Euro League title he won. It's like impossible what he did. Skip, I get that. Skip, I get that. That's what I said. I believe that's his crowning achievement moment. That's bigger, because you know international play for basketball overseas is bigger than, is bigger than an NBA title. He's a god. He didn't have to win any titles in the NBA. By bringing Argentina to the gold medal, something they're probably never going to do again unless it's in football, yeah. soccer. He's the only he, non-American who's won four NBA titles and Olympic gold. In Argentina, he's on a pedestal next to Diego Maradona. He is. And that's not because of no titles. Mm -hmm. That's because of the Olympic gold medal in basketball. Mm -hmm. So I get it. give him that credit. I'm going to give him that, Skip. Mm. But you need to stop this. You get the last word, Skip, on your guy. <sighs>